Alright guys, welcome to your 43rd video and in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to add a cool feature to the website that you see right here. You see how we are on the add an item page? Well, on the links on the left hand side, all of the backgrounds of these links are white except for the page we're on. On add item page or add item link, the background is orange. Now this is the same no matter what you go to. You can go to your inbox and now check it out all of these links are white except our active page or current page is orange if you go to pending then this one is orange you can go ahead and do your stuff on the page and this is kind of a cool feature because instead of just having static plain links all of them having white background it kinda gives the user a more interactive feeling kind of more gooey or graphical user interface feeling more than just a plain old website so that is a feature that I thought was awesome and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that right now so before I show you guys the code I wanna give you guys the concept by default every single page has a white background or every single one of these little links has a white background now what I'm gonna do is in my PHP code I'm gonna determine what page they're on and depending on which page they're on I'm gonna say okay overwrite the CSS for the white background and make it orange instead now not only do we change the background to orange but we also change the color of the arrow to white and the color of the text to white as well so now that I showed you guys what this feature is let's go ahead and code this baby now if you guys were wondering why the heck I passed in that number zero it's because the number represents which page we're on for example every single page gets designated a number the add items page of course has zero um, shipping info is three offers declined is six so what we're going to do on every single page we're going to include these links except we're going to change this number to either 9, 12, 0, so on and so forth. That is how our website knows which page you're on aka which link to color. So now let me show you guys how to do that in code. What you do is go ahead and add a switch statement and the first thing that I want to do is pass in the variable x. Now what x represents is basically which page or which link do you want to color well in the case of zero just write case zero this means that we want to color the add items link so make a variable called add whoa not add caps lock add items and set this equal to this now the cool thing is I'm gonna type some CSS one line of CSS and it's going to be kind of confusing but after this I'm going to use the same line of CSS like 16 times so after you get done this boring CSS then you can just copy and paste so what we want to do is we want to overwrite the current style of the link which is of course the plain white background so write style set this equal to color white which changes the text color to white text shadow and for the text shadow just go ahead and put one pixel one pixel three pixels and black which I don't know I just think that shadow looks cool now the last thing that we need to do is we need to change the background now the background isn't actually colored orange it's actually an image and the reason I chose to use an image is because then I get the white arrow as well so instead of having to add the arrow and then a color orange I did it all in one nice swipe so background is actually a link to the file and then whenever you're working with a file in CSS put URL and put dot dot images account nav dot ping and by default the white image with the gray arrow is at zero zero this image look at the image and you'll understand what I'm talking about is it location zero negative 26 which means don't go any pixels over but go 26 pixels down and that's gonna give you your orange image if you were at zero zero it would give you your white image this is called image mapping or um, tile people call it different things but 
you know, call it whatever you want. Call it tuna, bacon, ham for all I care. Now, after this, we just want to break. Now, since we're going to be working with a lot of different cases, what I did is I made this a whole lot easier for you. In order to easily edit this, what I do is I actually add this all on one line. So the break in cases are like this. Now, just so you guys can easily see the tutorial, I don't have word wrap on, but whenever I'm coding, I turn word wrap off so it looks like that. See that? So it's one big long string of text. But what I did already is I coded the rest of this switch statement. Why? Because I don't know. Hold on. Let me go ahead and uh, paste this first. I coded it in another file. I coded the rest of the switch statement because like uh, a lot of the things I'm teaching you guys, I don't want to waste your time and show you guys the exact same code over and over and over again. So the only thing that changes is the number, what page you're on, and the variable name. So you guys are going to see later on when we utilize these variable names whenever we're uh, creating the div boxes and we need to include that CSS. But guys, I just want to rem remind you guys that the style of every single one of these is the same. So aside from that, the last thing I want to mention is make sure you put case 99 break at the very end and there's a reasoning behind this and of course I know I say this a lot but you guys are gonna understand it in the upcoming tutorials so for now just go ahead and save this and if you guys don't wanna you know pause the video and type all of this then what you guys can do is just go to my forum and download the file and everything will be set up for you but anyways that is why we passed a number into this function basically to let our website know which tab needs coloring so for now thank you guys for watching in the next tutorial what we're going to be doing is making the rest of those links on the left hand side so like i said thank you guys don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video